so happy to show you two brand new stamps, two very, very different looks from Hot Off the Press. One of our new layering designs is Layering Daisies, mm -hmm. and we have Art Nouveau from our new Charleston collection. And wait till you see what's been done. Come, Come play, play with us. us. Well, here they are, as I said, two very different looks. This is from our layering line, the layering daisies. You're getting 37 stamps in here, everything you need to layer, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And then we have Art Nouveau, which is one of my very favorites. I think this is just a stunning look. But we're gonna start with our daisies. Right. And like all of our layering stamps on the back, we've really made it easy in that you can tell by the colors which are the ones that go together and by the numbers which goes down first, second, and third. Right, and something that's new in this set, the layering daisies, is you're going to get this view of, uh, you're going to stamp these images and there's going to be this center area that's open. One, two, three, you stamp the flower and then you can add this nice long stem with the back of the flower which mm -hmm. shows that petal, with the, uh, the back of the position, the bud position, one and two, and that's really an interesting look. The center of these flowers you are able to add afterwards and get some nice highlights. Mm -hmm. So really nice. Now we've got dahlias, roses, flowers, all kinds of Christmas ones. Right. And here we go into this. Now this is very much what we've done before, that one, two, three, in that you get um, kind of a light, medium, and dark are the color combinations. Right. And you're starting with that base layer with a very much of that light color, and that's using the uh, the pinks, uh, pigment inks, and that uh, color box cat's eye Q. It's also using the yellow greens with that. So. And these were done. These are a Paper Wishes exclusive because when we came out with the layering, we wanted to make sure that you didn't have to go and buy six different ink pads, right. but you would have the right shades to go together because it's really the shades that make the difference. I agree, <laughs> and and it's fun, easy to use. You just pop off whatever color you're going to use and use that one at a time but here's that look that we're talking about with the doing the flower first so go ahead and stamping the flower I'm going to show you that in just a moment and after you stamp the flower layers then you can stamp the stem layer and the, the leaves afterwards and you, it just fits right into that little open area and the same a, with the center yeah I was just gonna say same thing with that so okay so, you're gonna show a demo huh yes I've got the stamp set here I've got my miss because invaluable for layered stamping are these stamping platforms. And we have several different ones, a Misty, Mini Misty, the Tim Holtz version, right. whatever you like best. I went ahead and stamped that first layer, which is the base layer. And it said number one, so I stamped that first. And I'm ready to stamp the second one. And I don't see it here. <laughs> I had it sitting right here and no. okay so at this point I would go ahead and stamp this second layer who's the little stamp has here, walked you take it off away of that one? well I, think, I thought I oh I didn't take it off yet oh no no I did this is a new one never mind okay so I'm gonna pull off can you off tell we don't rehearse these <laughs> stamp number two. Oh, I totally rehearse it and I no okay Pulling off stamp number two, and I will look at the image. I sort of look at the direction. Oh, it's going to go just like that. So that's easy to line up. And then I'm going to place it onto my uh, onto my stamp my first stamped layer. So this is number two. Oh, number two. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Okay, number two. Yeah, that is. Uh, then I'm going to place it right on top. I'm I'm right. trying to focus on lining up those edges there we go so just a couple of seconds to get it lined up close up the misty open it up and as i open it up i'm going to be inking that left side and i'm going to choose the next color i think i'll use that nice which is bright going to be a medium pink. shade yeah uh -huh. so that's a nice bright color if i can here we go and it's because i had a band-aid on i wasn't able to get that off very easily and there we go Go ahead and ink that up. Now these are pigment inks, just um, just so you know. Right, which means it's going to take a little longer to dry than other inks, and that will give you your next layer. But you can already see the definition. So here's right. your first layer, your second layer adds the next highlights, and then I put on the final layer. I would normally allow that to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and line this up. And pretty simple to do. I'm actually lining up 
on that center area, getting those edges right where I want them. I sort of think that the MISTI and the stamp platform came out just in time for layering stamps. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're right about that. Now I'm going to choose the last color I'm choosing in the series, the next darkest one. So really nice dark. And I like this because it's like you would consider it highlights, but it's kind of the reverse. It's kind of the darker. It's kind of the shadow. Sh yeah, mm -hmm. the shadows, the shaded areas. And there we go. And there you go. So now it takes full form. It does. And then what you can do is add the uh, stem. Right. Put on the stem next, and it fits right in there perfectly. As you can see right there. So that's how it's done. I also like the idea that was done on the inside of the card of just doing one of the little blossoms mm -hmm. and adding the curly cues and the stem that's all part of the stamp set. So everything is included for you to to make all of that and what you know how simple that little swirl is oh, yeah. but what a great job it it does so okay. they're just really fun to play yeah. with it's really nice to make that layered image and that large frame was done with the design toolkit number three so you can see that that creates just a really nice area for the good plus home. the tag that was yeah, used in there right. too and the inner label now, doing solid pinks, that's a good way to go, but you can also mix some colors, and that's what this example is showing you. It is doing the grays and the pinks, so we're getting close so you can see that. And surprise, the stem and the leaves are also the gray, so no, you don't have to do it the way nature did. <laughs> you right. can take liberties, my friend. <laughs> Artistic liberties, that's right. Yes. And I want to note that the leaves, there are more. there is more than one stamp for stamping those leaves. So if I bring this in, you can choose on the leaves to go one, two, three, or you can just use right. number one. And that's and what we've done like here. That. Very pretty. Beautiful. And then again, isn't that just lovely? It's just sort of ghosted in. Yeah, it's a beautiful so pretty. Look. Now, both of these, you want to bring the other one in, are on white. And that has one look. With the ruby rose papers, I will mention. Very pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And yet, I think it's oh really goodness. stunning when you put it on pattern paper, as Debbie did on this card. And she did something different also. She added embossing powder, gold embossing, as right. the final layer of those petals. And I just thought that was amazing. How I pretty that is look. that? Yes. And you can use, it looks like the gold metallic um, paper on right. the background there. And then on the inside, she has got her flower going horizontally <laughs> with the same, the same idea. Beautiful. So lots of different looks, and that's what I like. I did, I do confess, I have a soft spot for daisies. Oh. They were, I had daisies and roses in my wedding. So oh, wonderful. <laughs> 400 years ago. Okay. okay, moving on to Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau, 22 clear stamps yes. here with that Art Nouveau look. Matches the Charleston papers perfectly. And look at that delicate imagery, just lots of swirls and like dripping crystals just about. Absolutely beautiful. You know, flip it over, we can sure. see the ideas that are part of the package. And we just may be showing you uh, maybe well, one, one of those. Of those. This, this one you're gonna see. <laughs> now, Teresa did this and wow. Um, a wonderful contrast. You can also see there are some of the uh, sequins uh, glued on. But what she did in her background is she created it with the uh, color burst. Right. And you're going to show Which that. Which I've got that here. And then she's done white heat, or I guess first, did white. Uh, Actually, a little bit different here. Okay. What she said was she embossed it afterwards with the white embossing did on she? top of the clue. Okay, good. She said it's totally, it, it's totally doable to do the embossing first and then do yeah. the color burst, but she kind of liked the idea of doing it afterwards. It's just this nice, oh. bright white effect. And I do want to say, this is on the side step card so because the stamp like all of our stamps you get so many things you always get the words so you're able to use them on a die cut card like this and that's what the side set looks like you get five okay now you're gonna do color burst right so Good. I've got the color burst out I've got Prussian blue and she got this nice and dark so I'm yeah. gonna add quite a bit of it and then I'm going to add a little bit of burnt umber in just a few places. And okay. she really likes, Teresa really likes mixing 
her color burst to get she kind does. of a unique look. <laughs> so let me get those one out of, of the a kind. Way. And you want to spritz this. You do want to use do this on a protected area because color burst kind of gets everywhere. Well, the wow. water gets everywhere wow. too. Isn't you that You can really get gorgeous. an amazing look. So wow. I know that's nice and dark. Yeah. She said afterwards, <clears throat> she would actually get it to where she was letting it puddle a little bit, mm -hmm. and then she would take a paper towel and sort of go over I'll it like lift that. It a look, little. that that lightens it up ah. just a little bit. You can get a different look, but she really did cover the white that entirely. <laughs> yeah, I, I like these areas, but she used that mm -hmm. center area that's really very dark. Well, actually, that's what she's done on the front and used her paper to uh, do her greeting as well as this little butterfly. But look on the inside, that's where she used the lighter area. Or maybe this is just the blue. She actually used a different color of blue oh, there. You've got to see the gallery. She, okay. she loves to combine those colors in different ways. And you can get some really it's amazing beautiful. looks. And she did use the, um, the Charleston paper as well as the uh, farmhouse buttons that are matching so perfectly there. So that's gorgeous. Now, another gorgeous look is as we did earlier, uh, I think last week, right. using the flitter glue and gilding flakes. Gilding so, flakes. So that's that... like a, I'm not sure which one. I think Sunlight Speckle it on is. that one. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Just and with your, with your words Stamping also. with it. And that's just taking the cosmetic sponge, applying the flitter glue to the stamp Gorgeous. Stamping and then applying the um, the gilding flakes. And in her first card, or de uh, Teresa's first card, she made her background. Well, here it is using the pattern papers, right. which I think just adds, both of them add a richness and a depth to it. Right. Then and on the inside, it makes a lot of your look, work done for you. <laughs> just a little bit of the tree. I love that. Isn't that pretty? Just off the edge. And that's a yeah. design toolkit, I believe, used it to is. cut those shapes so you can get nice, beautiful edging. Gorgeous and gorgeous, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, here <laughs> is the one that's on the back of the pattern. Package, <clears throat> and you can see it has, um, just it has a really pretty look. It does, and it starts with stamping. So this was stamped first with black stays on or memento ink mm -hmm. on white cardstock. And then the inking that you see around the edges was done with Tim Holtz's mini distress ink sets. Check the gallery for which ones. These come from two different sets, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great to have a, a mix of several sets and then start mixing your colors. Then she used one of the stylus handles here, here with these little removable little um, sponges and you can just start going on the edge. I would put this on a craft sheet, something like that to protect your surface. Go in with the blues just around Into each the of edges, the corners. Uh -huh. right? And then that crushed olive, the green right around these it makes it kind of a little bit of a yellow green look. And she actually add a little light blue in the center. And then she colored she, I, colored it in <laughs> with, um, with uh, Spectrum Noir pen. So if we get in close, it was colored in with Spectrum Noir. You can do a little bit more than that if you like. And then I got the clear wink of Stella. So I'm just applying and having fun in layers. I'm adding all of this in. And then you can just kind of color over the whole thing ah. and really add a pretty sparkle. And you can do that in more than one layer. Here, I'm going to do a little bit. And then I'm going to pick it up so that you can, so we can see, see the sparkle. There see, you go. there it goes. Okay. And if that wasn't enough sparkle, she uh, matted it on the metal on the uh, mirror sheets. You get eight different colors right. in that package. And nice bright blue went with that perfectly. And then added some of the baby, baby bling. bling. Right. So that's bling. in the center <laughs> and on the edges. So just a really sweet little card. And again, let your dreams soar. And I don't think this was finished on the inside. Right. Okay. So there are so oh, many things more. in this set. <laughs> Here is another look. Now this is using the uh, stamp that's in the upper left-hand corner, and isn't it stunning? But that's not all. This background was done right. with that same stamp. So embossed, <laughs> white embossing powder, and Susan just took this stamp and went over and over, ding, 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 across the top and across the bottom to create that wonderful. I thought it was patterned paper. Yeah. 
but it's, it's really pretty in person when you realize that that's embossing. And stickles are used to color inside the roses and the leaves, right. so it gives a glitter piece. Right. And that lovely tag is from our 10 Tags and Trends oh, nice. dies. And Susan applied just a little bit of that stickles, and then she We're says you closer. can use a craft knife or a toothpick to move it around to get it in between there really easily in all of those small places. Of course, that white embossing kind of holds it in place sure. too. We have one more and this is it. Now, this is a center step card and I do want to tell you that they're back in stock. They were out of stock for a while uh, only because one of our retailers whined. So because of Debbie, uh, we now have the center step cards back and they <laughs> stand up like so. But I want to put some white behind there because uh, with the camera so that you can really see what that's going on. They are stamped on the heat resistant acetate yeah. and then backed Let, with, uh, with, with glitter right. adhesive. But let me just show you first the card. I do want to mention okay. that with that center step card, if you open it up, flatten it out, here's what it looks like. Debbie uh, covered it first with some matted papers from the Charleston mm -hmm. uh, paper collection. collection. And then she cut out these windows. So if I turn this over, you can see she just cut all the way through that. So now you've got three, you've got a triptych of windows there. And then she got out the heat resistant acetate embossed, uh, stamped and embossed on there. So there's the embossing on the front of it. Got out her Spectrum Noir pens and colored these in. So I would um, be a little bit careful of the embossing because these are alcohol pens. If you go over the embossing too much, it will sort of make it uh, bleed a little bit. Or you could go on the back side. Or you can go on the yeah. back side. So whatever works best for you. So get all, get that all the way colored in with your Spectrum Noir pens. You take a little strip of this uh, glitter adhesive, remove that, and place it on the back. So now that's going to create these three beautiful stained glass windows that you will use to place in the back of the cutout windows that you had in the card. Oh, so pretty. An amazing look. Yes, beautiful. And when you open it, you can really see like the light shining behind it. You can, just uh, very, very beautiful. And I love the fact that that glitter just makes it so easy. Right. And you can see that some little bit, of, let those hanging down over the fold and the happy birthday. And on the inside, just using, this is the, the Charleston paper. Right. Let your dreams Well, that's soar. what I love about these stamp sets. You can do something that's really pretty simple. <laughs> just stamp it on, color it in, or you can get a little bit more technical and choose your poison, really, and <laughs> pick what you want to do with it. Choose your poison? That's what, what you really use? Pick, pick your poison, whatever you like. <laughs> you can do some wonderful <laughs> things. Let me rephrase for her. You can do some absolutely wonderful things. And we leave you with that, and we hope to see you next week. See you then.